Alrighty, hello YouTube. It is I, Mortavius the Mad. Disaster has struck. I ran into a bug that made it impossible for me to, to complete my last game. I was trying to click on uh, the exit to get out of the the uh, the mastery womb, and for some reason it wouldn't click. It wouldn't interface. I tried reloading. I tried going all that stuff, and I didn't have any of my previous saves. I just had the saves from the master's womb, and in none of the saves could I exit. So, I don't know what the hell happened, what, what kind of buggery it is, but I had to start over. And uh, I'm not I'm not a big one for starting over. This is why you're supposed to have console commands that are accessible to the players. So when something like that happens, you can teleport the fuck out and continue with the game. Or if there's a bug or something that happens, you can fix it, right? Instead of having to start all the fuck over again. This is why you have console commands in games. And why they didn't put the console commands and leave them in, I don't understand. Of course, if they had console commands in the first place, the game would have been able to be better tested and pounded upon. Because you can keep going back to the same point and pounding and pounding and testing and testing. And that's what the fucking commands are for. So now, i got to redo all this fucking shit. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to hack. And I'm going to teach you all how to hack this game right here. This is what we're doing. We're hacking this game, so fuck this shit. So I rolled a brand new character. Before you do anything at all, you don't want you want as few variables to fuck with as possible. Okay, when you're hacking any type of application, you want a controlled environment. You want as few variables as possible. See, I have one person in my party. I have one person. Uh, I haven't joined the battle yet. I just started. I just killed the dude in the room. I haven't even looted him. Nothing. My inventory is empty, except for what I got. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off all of this right here. So if they're gonna do this to me, this this is this is how Tommy is gonna fix this shit. All right, this is how I'm gonna fix this shit. I am gonna drop all this shit. Ah, well, fuck. Didn't want to use that. Well, I'll just wait till it wears off. Drop and drop. Okay, I'll wait till this magical bullshit shield of faith wears off. And then that should be about a minute or so. And then once we get once I'm free of effects and free of of whatever, then we're gonna we're gonna get into the hack redack redock right here you know come on now okay we got 26 seconds left on this bitch and then I'm gonna save it and we are gonna start hacking right here that's what we're gonna do because I am really really fucking pissed they should have included console commands so that if anything happened, I could recover my fucking game. I could send my party back to, you know, wherever when they finish something. Or you know, So now I got to do this shit. And because I got to play it all over again, and it took me over a, a solid fucking week, you know, to, to, to get to where I was. We're going to do a few things and speed a few things up, I think, is what we're going to do right here. So we're going to make a few, if I can, adjustments. So... There we go. The army spec of one there. So let's see. First, we got to locate, locate the save game. So it's in one of two locations. It's either in 
the steam man uh, so either in the steam apps Okay. No. See, the great thing is this is built in Unity. So you know what that means. Hmm. I wonder what all this is. Level 480 blah. I'm not even telling me this goes up to like level 480. That's crazy. Uh... Uh, well, we'll see. Okay. Don't know what that's about. Uh, crash handler. Okay, that's nothing. So, the save game is not in the Steam Apps directory, which means it's probably where they store... A lot of games will do this. They'll go to your, your um, user... Okay, so we'll check in the save game file. Nope, it's not there. Um, there's absolvers. Uh, nope. Not there. Ah! Yep, there it is. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so that looks like that's our save games. Uh, I have no idea what this ZKS bullshit is. Um, let's see. Can, sometimes Seven Zip can open shit. Let's see. You just you just do open archive. You don't you don't do any of this shit. You just do open archive with your Seven Zip. Well, look at that. Now we have our save game. We have everything in our save game. So, um, well, let's see what all this stuff is. Shall we? Fuck it. Um, actually, these... That. We're going to take a look at what each of these is. So we'll start with header. Ah, fuck. Hang on. No. Notepad. Notepad++ is great for, for uh, editing uh, JSON files. So this is what we're going to do. Um, oh, well then. Okay, so that looks like the, this is, uh, for the journal. So we don't need that. Uh, we'll send that away. That file is not going to be important. Time for let's check out player. Well, actually, let's check out statistic. God damn it! I keep doing that. Uh, edit. Uh, Okay. Hmm. Okay, so inventories.
Oh, okay. So this is all the characters in this. Oh, alrighty. So this is all the stuff that uh, sets up for the f the game flags. Um, in the uh, in the whole game. That that's what that is. All right. Well, that's not what we're looking for. So, um, delete that. Okay, so it looks like these two are going to be, so let's start with the player and see what we got. We're doing this in real time now, so, oh, great. One big fucking line. And if I were to put it into separate lines, down here, the length is 16,520. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Uh oh, hang on. Money. All right. Well, found that right off the bat, didn't we? Okay, let's put... One, oh fuck it, ten million gold. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can find intelligence. Oh fuck. Dexterity, no. Uh, in more. Reality. No. Uh, you never know. Hit points. Hit. Okay. Base. Attack. No. Well. Let's just skim the line. We found money. So what is this? This is, uh... There's got to be mostly items. Okay. Player position. Transformation. Okay, so this is like items and, and kingdom speed modifier, speed modifier, camping. Okay, this is some of the meta mechanics then for, for that. Oh, fuck. Me. Shit they have unlocked. Etc, etc, etc. That looks like it's pets. All right, well, we've saved that. Let's see if the money thing at least turns out. So I guess they stored all the statistics, like intelligence and shit, in the party. Let's, uh, first, let's see if we can, the money, nope, all right. All right, smart, smart. You're gonna hide it from hacking. Well, hide it in the party. And the cool thing is, in seconds, basically throughout the first part of the game, most what most people will play through before they try to edit, uh, you'll 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 have all these different uh, ability scores. You won't know whose score you're lifting and what. Uh -huh. Which is why. Tommy is smarter than them. Okay, so, or rather, Morty, on my, as my as my uh, as my uh, online persona is named. Okay, we've got strength. Bam. So we've got several.
Okay, we got two entries for strength. See the bottom? Okay, so we're going to look for a pattern. <sighs> so let's see, what, what comes up? All right, we got that. And then let's look at the next one. All right, well then. <coughs> ah! It looks like type colon strength is what we're looking at. All right. So we got a base value and a permanent value. The base value is 16, so I'm assuming I gotta I gotta fix these two, right? So we'll put it at 25. Ah, storm giant strength. There we go, 25. Okay. Um, just for shits and giggles, why not? Okay. Dexterity. Bam. So how many places does dexterity show up? Four places. Motherless bastard. Okay. So there we go. Type dexterity. That looks like what we're looking at. So as a base value. We'll put 25. Ah! Okay. Next we'll do Constitution. In order to get the find menu that I'm using right here, it's Control F to get this menu. For those of you that don't know, and that's what it is. Is it's Control Control F. So, uh, Constitution. How mm, many Constitution? So there's three entries of Constitution. There we are, type, colon, constitution. That's where we want to go. So we will click that over. Uh, base value 14. We'll put 25. Ah! All right, constitution. Then we'll put intelligence. How many? Okay, so there's three entries of that. So here, 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 here we go. Base value 13. We'll put 25. Why not? Okay. Wisdom. Find next. How many instances of wisdom do we have? One, two. Okay. There's the base value, it looks like. Is that the type? Yep. So, 25. There we go. And... Charisma. Charisma. There it is. Eight. We'll put that at twenty-five. Let's see if we can find the. All right. Well then. El Perfecto. Actually, we'll put it at 23. Just in case it gets funky. And the thing doesn't go over 25. Alright. Save that. And just for shits and giggles. Base. Attack. Base attack bonus. So those are the only two 
base value 1. Ah, well, base value 15 now. <laughs> yeah. All right. Save that bizarre. Ah, I had a feeling it could do that. That looks like an, the undead flag. Yep. Here comes, oh, all the feats and shit are here. Regeneration. Oh, hello. Is regenerate. We'll have to play with some of this later. I don't want to fuck it up and like, you know, fuck the shit up. But, uh, but yeah, let's see what we got here. Oh, wow, they have all kinds of states and other stuff here. Is untargetable? <laughs> Is ignored by combat? <laughs> I could really, really, if I wanted to. All you'd have to do to trigger that is untargetable. You change the zero to one. It's, 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 a, it's a binary flag. <laughs> These are all states. I wonder if I could set permanent states in this motherfucker, right? Possible. It's possible. Uh, uh, that immortal thing looks like it might. Be, it could be a god mode. You know, maybe maybe we'll play with that later. I had a hunch. Regeneration. Yeah. See, this is all status effects and uh, immunities. And each one of these, um, the engine, the engine, I, I don't know what they stand for. I don't know if I can know what they stand for, but the engine does. So if you were to just like check one, 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 and change all those zeros to one, you'd be immune to however many conditions that they have. So there's, there's like a whole bunch of like 20 conditions there, um, 20 or 30 conditions. So, so, uh, so yeah. Well, then, we have finished this. Now, how do we get it packed in? See, the great thing about, about it is you don't really need to, to know a lot of, about this just to fuck with it. Um, if you want to put it back in, it's, it's just drop and drag. And it overwrites once it creates the... See, are you sure you want to copy files to archive? Blah, 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 blah. Yes. Being used by another process. What do you mean it's being used by another process? It ain't being used by no other process. I close the other processes. Motherless bastard. This. Okay, hang on. Something's fucked up here. Okay, so this is what we're doing. All right. I must have actually, okay. Seven zip. Oh, I see. I must have left it open. My bad. Okay. All right. Then you just drop and drag. Boop, and it's done. Now, uh, of course, uh, I get a phone call now, right? What we're gonna do? We're gonna ignore that for a second, cause I gotta. I'm gonna finish this video for you guys, and we're going to look at the effects that our alterations have had in the game, and then I will get back to that phone call later on and call them back. So here we go. We are going. To see if what we did actually worked right now. That's what we're seeing. Did it work? It'd be nice to know. We're going to find out. So, let's take a little bit. It's going to do its loading thing.
If it, if it hangs infinitely, um, when it loads up the area, we'll know if we fucked it up. So you go to load game, go to the save that you altered, and load it. And here it comes, the moment of truth. Did we pull this off? Well, let's find out. It looks like we may have pulled it off. Obviously, I think I forgot to edit his hit points. Whoopsie. Whoopsie, whoopsie. But everything is 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25. Booyah! Look at We got a million gold. Oh, I I can always put more in there later. But we have a million that we have to play with. So obviously I was a zero off. Sadness. I could have sworn I put 10 million in there. Oh, we have a million. But basically you guys, you guys get the gist of it. So... That is how it is done. Oh, uh -huh. attack 22. Oh, base attack. <laughs> My melee damage barehanded is 8 to 10. Oh, that's that's brutal. That's 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 just just just, just. So yes. Speed 30. Oh, I could have edited my speed. That's what I all this shit. One of these days I'm just going to have to Wow, man! Look at this. I am, I am a, I am a bastard level one character right now. I might have to go in and see if I can fuck with hit points, right? You know, make a big super machine. But there you got it, dudes. There you got it. I have save game edited by hand. Took a couple of minutes. Not hard. Games tend to be the same. And so, just to make sure we got this shit in lock, we're gonna save it. Save that shit. And the cool thing is, the JSON and other files are still there. So all I have to do is, if I want to tweak it, just go back, tweak it, and then move them back in game to overwrite this, which I might wind up uh, dicking around with later, as a matter of fact. But there we go. There it is. How to hack Pathfinder uh, Kingmaker. Old school. You just go in with a, with, with, with a couple of simple tools. 7-zip uh, you can find for free on the web and, and same thing with notepad and you get the JSON reader because I, I um, uh, No Man's Sky uses uh, the JSON files too and you can go in and I, I played with uh, I played with that uh, pretty hard I, I gave myself all kinds of all kinds of shit in that um, all kinds of money you know but it's the same kind of thing and the great thing is Unity, you know, this is a real simple stuff for Unity to use, so, um, so yeah, well, there you go. Now you guys know how to do it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this, and if uh, you want to see me do anything else, uh, let me know. If you want to see me play other games or whatever, let me know. I've, I've modded, this will be the second game I've kind of modded and monked with uh, on YouTube. The first one was my Master of Orion tutorial where I basically went in and did the same things and, and was modding the, the game that way. I, I used to mod games a long time ago too. Um, some of you may remember uh, um, there was a game from Gas Powered Games. Uh, I think it was uh, Dungeon Keeper, not Dungeon Keeper, but something. Uh, there, was a, there was a mod called Razo's Magic. That was me. Um, I put that out. That was back when I was in my in my 20s years ago, um, and uh, where you could summon uh, the the boss, and I had all kinds of other stuff that, that you could you could you know spells and shit you could get. But but yeah, I've been I've been modding. I've been in the industry. I've been an, uh, an animator, uh, cinematic artist. You know, I, I've done I, I I did my time, and uh, so you know you 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 learn a couple of tricks. You know, oh well, but but there you go. Um, that's that's uh, that's how to do it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Hope it was educational. Peace out.
Boy Scouts.